Hey everyone, it wasn't long ago when we looked at the new Shimano XT brakes, but uh, the new XTs were launched together with the new SLX at the same time, unusual for Shimano. So it only makes sense to take a look at the new SLX brakes in comparison to the new XTs. So let's do this. Just like in the past, it's very easy to spot the SLX due to the uh, subdued uh, graphics. You can see the painted SLX right here on the master cylinder that otherwise looks very, very similar to the one used by the XT. There is no glossy surface here whatsoever and this is more blue than uh, gray that you see on the XT. Aside from the looks, it's pretty obvious from this side that the master cylinders are identical. The only thing that's missing on the SLX, which is uh, uh, the same as with previous gen, is the free stroke adjustment. You see the screw over there that is just capped on the SLX. That doesn't do much anyway, so don't worry about it. Also, if you look here at the lever, the lever shape is the same. However, this one seems to be a bit wider and is flatter. Also, if you look here at the dimples where your braking finger goes, there's none on the SLX. There are some on the XT. Finally, the reach adjust is common on both levers and the mechanism seems to be the same as well. This uses mineral oil just like all Shimano's do. iSpec EV, the two-piece bar clamp, four to six newton meters to tighten it. You have the little pin to push to open this up and you see the attachment point here for your accessories. This is all made in Japan and you see the M7100 and 22.2 which is our bar diameter. The old SLX 11 speed generation M7000, uh, the finish is different, very similar to the new XT. You have the same reach adjust that's available. You have the same lever without the dimples. You have the screw that doesn't do anything that's blocked on both. They are both made in Japan and you can see the iSpec EV versus iSpec 2 bar clamp that is coming with the new ones. I still believe that the new, new SLX looks weird with this bluish hue on the actual master cylinder. The clamp and the lever are black though. And I started with the lever because this is what's common between the two options available to us in this generation. We're looking at the uh, race brakes, uh, see the 7100 here with the two piston caliper and the trailer and duro brakes which come with a four piston caliper. Over here they mention the different uh, pads available. Also at the bottom you can see uh, the length of the hose provided which is kind of standard. And here on the left you see the lever that I just mentioned which is providing us the servo wave that we know, iSpec EV, two piece bar clamp and one or two finger braking. BH90 is the hose used here. It's been used for like two or three generations. Just like with the XT brakes, they don't mention a fin version of their resin pad. That G03S doesn't have fins. J04C does have fins, but that's a metallic pad. However, the dimensions of the new G03S pad is identical with the dimension of the good old J02A pads, the finned resin pads from a previous generation. So they would fit right into the new caliper. New SLX caliper being identical with the XT. See them here next to each other. But for some reason, given the finish and just the painted SLX over here, the XT looks premium for sure. This one looks cheap in comparison. It has the same banjo attachment point, which is on the inside, which I already mentioned on the XT review that I love so much. It doesn't rub my frame anymore over here. Also, the bleeding port is here at the end, meaning that you have a straight line for that air to evacuate. So easier, better brake bleeds and welcome changes to the design. The same 22 millimeter ceramic pistons are used on both calipers as you see over here, emphasizing one more that the only difference between the XT and SLX caliper is probably the color and the black pin. Compared to the last generation M7000, I still think that they look cheaper. Uh, that was cleaner and they were black as opposed to the bluish color of the new. However, I much rather prefer the design of the caliper this time uh, with all the details that I just mentioned. 
In the box you're gonna get this user manual that doesn't include much information. You have the lever filled with oil and capped with this yellow plug. The olive that you need to insert a hose with is behind that nut. You have obviously caliper and you have the hose which is also capped over here under this rubber plug and only in case of the front brake you're getting this bleeding block. If you look carefully in here that's the insert that you're going to need to finish the installation. I have a video on my channel telling you exactly how to shorten hoses, use that one to complete the installation. In that video I'm referring to this the two-piece block that Shimano used to include, they don't include it anymore, so try to find one at your local uh, bike shop because you're gonna need it when pushing the insert into the hose. Weight of the front brake is 275 grams with a one meter hose. That is 13 grams heavier than the XT equivalent. Uh, if I put the rear hose, which is 1.7 meters on the scale, 291 grams, that's again about 13 grams heavier than the XT. These brakes are including the same redesigned servo wave curve in the master cylinder for better modulation. And if you don't mind the two tone color scheme or the lack of the screw that doesn't do anything, I would say that these SLXs are probably the best value in the current Shimano lineup. What do you guys think? Do you have any questions for me? Do you plan to buy any of these new Shimano brakes? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, keep an eye on social media, and until next time, I'll see you folks on the trails, hopefully riding some new Shimano brakes. Cheers guys, cheers.